burning. Mm. Nothing like that first sip of coffee of the day. Anyway, today is Friday, May 27th. It is the Friday before Memorial Day. So this is kind of like as of, wow. 3.20 this afternoon, it'll be the unofficial start of summer for us because that's when I pick up my daughter from school. But I'm not here to talk about that right now. I am here to talk about this week and do my weekly uh, vlog wrap up. The vlog should be pretty short this week. It was just a hectic week. Um, and I, reading was interesting this week and I realized I need to kind of think about how I prioritize my, re my reading in terms of what I read and that sort of thing. But I'll talk about that on the other side of the vlog. So let's get the vlog started here and then I'll be back at the end. Good evening. It is Saturday, May 20th. Um, what a hectic day. Uh, I have just been listening to the reading list at a super fast, for me, speed, 1.5. I'm a 1.2 girl, 1.5, but I've got to get this done by 4 p.m. tomorrow. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully I don't get used to the speed because it is really fast. But Anyway, it's a reread, so it's not absolutely horrible if I don't finish this by the time of my discussion tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, I wanted to tell you, I started the book Bad Kids by Zijin Chen. I'm not far into it, but it's different. It's not different in an... It's different in a way that is making me want to read it. I'm not sure if I'm liking it, but... I am interested in reading it. So I didn't get any, ch other than listening to the reading list this evening, I haven't had any chance to read today. So I'm about to head to bed and read for a bit. So hopefully I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Oh my, I just did this whole video for like six minutes and it wasn't recording. Oh my goodness. So let me start over. Good morning, you all. I just did a community post saying I wasn't gonna post anything other than my, um uh vlog this week because it's late may and i have kids and you, if you have kids you know and that's the truth um it's not even that our calendar is busy it's just the busy energy is tiring me out i barely read this weekend um other than finishing um now because i've been talking for like six minutes my arms sore and i haven't put my tripod up because i don't have time to <laughs> um I, I only finished the reading list in time for my book Cougar's discussion and I had to listen to the last three hours of it on 1.5 speed to get it done which was weird but anyway it's done so I that's one thing of course I, I don't know if I'm going to start I need to start Clark and Division because that's my next book club audio reread so I need to start that one I think I probably will start it today um yeah it's May my kids oops sorry my thumb's like right in the camera way see if that helps my arm a little bit oh man as I was saying before, like I press record, apparently, um, weird energy at the end of May happens every year. It's a little bit especially weird here. My son is in a very um, unique and unfortunate schooling situation at the moment. Um, about three weeks ago, his teacher, he's in the sixth grade, his sixth grade teacher um, fell down the stairs at her house and broke her foot, ankle, whatever badly enough that she has to have surgery and she has to stay off her feet. So she's done teaching for this year. She says she's going to come back on the last day of school, but otherwise she's just not able to come back. And so, um, the school told us this and they said they were going to get a long-term sub to carry out the rest of the year, but that has not happened. Um, so my son has a different teacher every day. <laughs> no learning is happening. I have accepted this. He's not learning anything. Um, I asked him, he was telling me like that he had a different sub. And I said, well, I thought you were supposed to have one sub. And he's like, well, we did for like a week, but then they gave up. And I was like, okay, you need to elaborate on that. Why did they give up? And he goes, well, I think that we were just too much for them. <laughs> I said, okay, did your class misbehave? And he's like, no, we behave like we normally do. <laughs> I was like, oh God. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, that's what's going on here. My daughter is uh, is is wrapping up. I think high school will be really good for her, although it breaks my heart that my baby's in high school, will be in high school. Um, middle school has been, I mean, middle school is middle school, and there's been ups and downs and all that, but generally, I don't think she has been, other than her math class, seventh grade, um, academically, I don't think she has been academically really challenged in middle school, just because it's it's just too easy for her. Um, eighth grade, her math class has been logistically challenging for her, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, um, that's, that's my life. I will try to video when I can, do a video vlog when I can. Um, and if I do find time to actually do an on actual video this week, um, it will, I'm going to hold it for next week. So this will be the first time you've seen me since my last vlog when I finally edit this. And there you go. And uh, I better, better stop this now before I have to run on to the next thing. Oh my goodness. May, May is just crazy. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, May 24th. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because it was crazy. Uh, <laughs> end of May, as I said, that's why there's no videos coming out this week besides this video. However, um, I'm gonna actually spend some time today uh, recording a number of videos. So this should be the only kind of down week that I have. Um, the kids are out of school on June 15th. So we have like, what is that? We have the rest of this week, like two and a half weeks, three weeks, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, we're all ready for summer. Um, <laughs> I love summer, but I love summer because it's what brings me one step closer to fall, which is really my favorite season. I love fall. But anyway, we're almost to summer, so that is good. Um, I uh, finished a book last night. Woohoo! I finished Truly Devious, and I will be doing a review of that, so I'm not going to really share my thoughts about it here. Um, but I enjoyed it. We'll just say that. Um, uh, my cat is, <laughs> I got a new collar for my cat. Um, and it has, well, I put three bells on it. So she's especially noisy now, but also has an air tag. So, um, she's an indoor cat, but she's been known to make dashes outside. And, uh, she does get supervised outdoors time, but sometimes the supervisor doesn't have the best eyes. So she sneaks out. So I got an air tag collar for her so we can track her down if she gets out. Anyway, she's over there rolling on the ground, making as much noise as she possibly can. <laughs> In case you hear that, I have the microphone on, so who knows? Um, anyway, I finished Truly Devious. Um, I am feeling very overwhelmed with my reading right now and it is a situation of my own creation. I totally admit that, but it has led me to kind of rethink how I do my reading. I'm still working through that. Um, at some point I will do a video kind of what I come up with, but I think that I'm going to start approaching my reading a little bit differently in a way that is a little more gentle to myself. Um, but whatever. <sighs> so anyway, that's what's going on in my life. Um, videos, I'm going to do another spicy opinion video. I'm going to do the Truly Devious book review video. I'm going to try to do a tag. I have to do my Big Book of Summer video. Um, I don't think, I don't think Sue has posted her Big Book of Summer video yet. She might by the time this comes out, because I think she's starting it tomorrow. And this will come out on Friday, so that's how that will work. Anyhow, um, yeah, it's just, life is hectic. You know, when you have kids and they're in school, May is hectic. Unless you're at some place where May is not the last month of school. And then whatever the last month of school is, is hectic. That's just the nature of the beast. And that's where I am right now. So anyway, um, yeah, that's what's going on in my life. This will probably be a short vlog video. I say that every time. Last week I got it to about 20 minutes. This one will probably be even shorter. Now the cat is eating, which is making even more noise. So whatever. I'm going to um, actually, now that I have this tripod, I'm going to try to do videos in different areas to see if I can find a place better than this to do videos um, when my daughter is not home to help. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to leave this now because I'm starting to babble and I have other videos I have to make. So I'll talk to y'all later. Good evening. It is uh, Thursday, May 25th. I'm making sure that I'm videoing because I have a very bad habit of doing entire videos and not be videoing. Anyway, it's the evening. Um, my daughter and I went over, my my friend and uh, her wife just had, they, just, they didn't just have a puppy. <laughs> they just adopted a puppy. Um, so we went over to see the puppy because as I said, I love dogs and I will love on other people's dogs, but my cat won't allow me to have a dog. So we went over to love on the puppy. Anyway, quick reading update. Um, a lot of my books, I have a lot of books going, but I haven't been reading some of them because I'm trying to <sighs> prioritize which books I'm reading and get the ones done that I need to. One that I am reading right now is the uh, Bad Kids book by Zijin, Zijin Chen. I have thoughts, lots of thoughts. Um, but I'm going to save them for when I finish, but oh my, let's just say what the f came out of my mouth while I was reading it. So that's that kind of book. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, 
I lied. Um, so this is Thursday and I lied when I said I wasn't going to post anything this week because I had recorded my um, video for the big book summer uh, read along. Um, I had scheduled it to come out Saturday, but I just decided to put it out today. So it's there. Um, this is a super fun, super easy challenge and it works with any other read along you have going on during the summer. So, um, you know, highly recommend it. You know, you can go, I will try to remember to put a card up. You can go see my video and then I have the links to Sue's video for that. Um, my goal tonight is to go to bed a decent hour so I can read. And then my goal for tomorrow morning is to actually take a shower because that didn't happen today. It's been one of those days. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Welcome back. So, um, yeah, I've got a lot of books going. I currently have eight books going, not including an audiobook, which I will be starting today. So I have a lot going, um, more than I had last week. Hmm. Um, and I'll explain why. But uh, one thing is, people ask me, how can you juggle so many books? And the answer is, I can't. I do have too many books going, and I realize that. And it is a situation of my own making. So right now, I'm kind of working on finishing what I can, so I can get back to a, a point that I can better handle everything that I'm reading. Um, one thing is I need to be really cognizant of is the requirements I put in my reading in that what events am I doing? What read alongs am I doing? So in May, um, I had my, I had one book club. No, actually I had one book discussion. I didn't have any book clubs. And then I had, I started a buddy read and then I opted to do murder mayhem and mental health may. So I think my aspirations for murder mayhem and mental health may were a little too high for what they were, which is fine. I'm learning. I haven't even been on um, booktube for a year, so I'm still learning kind of how to juggle all this, <sighs> but I'm getting there. But let me go through what I'm reading. Now, usually I just go say these, let me, let me start with what I finished. Let's get that out of the way. I did finish two books this week. The first one I finished was the audio of the reading list. This was an audio reread for me. This is the book that I discussed with the book cougars um, last Sunday. Um, I finished it in time, but I did have to listen to the last three hours at 1.5 speed. Probably, hopefully we'll never have to do that again because that was that was a bizarre experience. I was okay doing it this time because as I said, it was a reread. I already knew what happened in this book, but I would never do that for a book that I haven't already read. But this was originally a 4.5 star book and I would keep it at a 4.5 star book. I really enjoy this book um, and it's one that I do recommend. The second book that I finished was... Um, I said it's that was an A plus book. The reading list was an A plus book. This is currently at an A. This is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. And I say currently because it is the first in a series and also the first in a trilogy. The first three books in the series operate as a trilogy. Um, and it very much operates as the first book in a trilogy. So my A grade for this is kind of a placeholder until I finish the entire series. But I quite enjoyed this. And if you're someone who likes Golden Age mysteries and puzzle mysteries, um, and you want to try something with a little more modern setting and, and uh, are open to YA, definitely I would recommend this series, Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I did do a video review of this, which will be coming out next week. So I'm not going to say much more about this right now. Now for all the other books. Usually I just kind of go through and talk about... Um, everything I'm reading, but I didn't actually read everything that I currently have going this week. So let me start with what I did read this week, and then I'll talk about what I didn't read this week and why. And then um, I have a, a audiobook that I am about to start. So this is what I did work on this week. The first book is The Murmur of Bees by Sofia Segovia. So um, I posted on my community page about this book and a bunch of people said they love this book. So I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm really looking forward to it. I just read about Lazarus. I don't care what happens in the rest of the book. This book won me with the story of Lazarus because that was awesome. Um, this is for my library book club, which meets a week from Saturday. So um, I need to finish before then, but I have tabbed it out and I am, because I need to finish things, I am being really strict with myself of just reading the section that I have for the day. Um, but I'm really enjoying this one. So this was new for this week. I started it after I finished Truly Devious. The next book I'm reading is East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I'm reading this as a read along with Marcella and a few other people. This is the first time I've done an actual like official read along and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm looking forward to doing more of those in the future. Um, 
So the story about this, I started it a week early and then I got late on it, but I'm now caught up. Um, and I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. Um, and I'm really enjoying the read, it, read along experience with it. Um, so I think that I have like two more weeks going. There's four sections in this book. I think unless I missed a section five in here, which I don't think I did. <laughs> There's four sections in this book. Um, and we're reading one a week. So we're working on section two this week. But really enjoying this one. And then, um, oh, and then I have two ebooks that I have going that I have actively been reading. One is uh, Bad Kids by Zijin Chen, which apparently was quite the bestseller in um, China. And I have feelings. Not that far into it, but I have feelings. Um, I'm going to hold on to them until I finish this book because, boy, they're, they're big feelings. I have big feelings about this book. I am actually, I'm doing this for NetGalley, so I will actually do a video um, a video review of it, so we'll hold on to it. But when I finish it, I'll give you kind of my quick reviews because I'm going to time my video review to come out closer to the U.S. publication date of it. And the other one, the second ebook I have going is one that I just started last night because apparently I didn't have enough going on, but there's a reason for that. Um, and that's because none of the other books that I had going, I felt like I wanted to read before bed. <laughs> so I found, I had The Crane Husband by Kelly Barnhill out for the library, which is a novella. And I thought, well, I'll read this for bed before bed. That also probably not a good idea, but we're doing it anyway, because that's what it is. Um, just started last night. It's about a woman who like brings home a man-sized crane. And it's told through her daughter's eyes and the daughter's like, this is weird because it is. And there's lots of like green woman sex, which I don't know. What? Um, anyway, I, I don't know what Kelly Barnhill is trying to say. The only other Kelly Barnhill book I've read is When Women Were Dragons, which totally understood from the like synopsis what that book was trying to say. So I'm just confused about this one, but I'm only a quarter of the way through. So it'll be fine. But that is what I'm reading um, before bed for reasons that I don't understand. <laughs> And then um, on the serial app, I am still working on 12 Years a Slave by Solomon, Nor Solomon Northup. Um, I don't I haven't been reading this every day, so I'm a little bit behind in the reading, but that's fine. Um, it's very interesting, very readable. Uh, I have seen the movie so far, as far as I am into it. I would say that the movie is a pretty, um, a fairly accurate, it's definitely accurate in spirit, but in plot and events in the plot, it is it's kind of accurate, but that's fine. Especially like I would rather a book be accurate, a movie adaptation be accurate in spirit than, than have every single plot beat accurate. But anyway, I'm enjoying that one. Again, I just need to find, make sure I read a little bit of it every day. And then finally, what I'm currently working on is this short story collection, Other Terrors, an inclusive anthology. I still have quite a bit to go. Probably not going to finish it by the end of May for Murder Mayhem, but that's okay because I've read quite a few stories in it. I'm over halfway through it. Um, really great, really, really great story collection if you are looking for horror short stories. I would recommend this one. So the two books I have going that I did not work on this week were, the first one is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. This is because I want to have a good chunk of time available when I read this. And with the other things I had going on, I did not have a good chunk of time available. Um, hopefully that will change very soon. It's the only reason why I am really enjoying it. Um, also did not feel like reading it before bed for, again, reasons that you would understand by just thinking about it. <laughs> and then finally, I didn't make any progress on Dr. I just did it again. Not Dr. Strange. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell, um, which I can't hold up because it is propping up the tripod. So I will put a picture up of it. Um, I am reading it on my, on my Kindle. So I just really have the, the print book for show and for height, apparently. Um, I am working on that. I didn't get a chance to really work on it this week because I kind of been busy at lunchtime. And then, oh, Discord is busy today. I need to remember to like turn the volume off on my computer before I start doing these videos. And then I do, I did not start an audiobook yet after finishing the reading list, but I will be starting another audio reread because it's for another book club. Um, and that's Clark and Division by Naomi Hirahawa, Hirahara, Hirahara. That's how you say it. Um, I read this like last year when it, I read it whenever it came out and I really enjoyed it. Um, and my marginalized authors book group is reading it this month. So I am doing the audio reread of it. And then I think after that, um, 
I just recently returned my library copy unread of Stone Blind because I had heard so many good things, the ebook uh, library copy of Stone Blind because I'd heard so many good things about the audiobook. So I think I'm going to use a Libro credit for that next time and maybe that'll be my next one. We'll see. I don't know. Got a ways to go before I go there considering I have not even started Clark and Division yet. In any case, that has been my week. I'm hoping this is a shorter video. I hope you all have, if you celebrate, if you live in a place that celebrates Memorial Day weekend, and if you get Monday off and all that, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, summer's here, guys. It's time for summer reading. Oh, summer. My big book of summer video went up yesterday. I'd said I wasn't releasing anything this week, and I had filled that to release tomorrow. But then Sue did her announcement video, so I got excited and I just changed it to release yesterday. But uh, please go check that out. It is the super easiest summer ch reading challenge there is. Um, you just have to read at least one 400 page book. So there you go. Um, it's fun. I've, I've done it. This is my third year doing it. And uh, I really enjoy that one. It's kind of fun to talk about the big books you're reading. Anyway, now before I make this a long vlog video, I am going to go. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do so, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Thank you.